weather's been crap, crap, and more crap. We're five days into this fishery and we haven't caught anything. For 36 hours, the Bering Sea crab fleet has taken a beating from a massive Arctic hurricane. The weather's always so nice right here. On top of the 70 knot winds and 30 foot seas, fishing has been non-existent. That sucks. This is no way to start this thing, only smokes. Until the raging storm moves on, captains and crews remain at the mercy of the Bering Sea. We'll just keep picking them up and searching. That's all we can do. Four hundred forty-five miles northwest of Dutch Harbor, on the one hundred seven-foot Saga. Oh dear God! Damn it! Weather's getting worse by the second. This day will not end. I just shot up here specifically to get ahead and away from everybody. I wanted my own stuff. I wanted my own glory. Fighting the final blow of the Arctic hurricane. Nothing. Captain Jake Anderson has barely dented his 470,000 pound quota. That's not good enough. Nobody likes to see bear empty pond. Still early in his career, the young skipper has much to prove. Uh, a little discouraged. I need, I need to practice, like, patience. Can you guys hear me down there? Yeah, you guys want to put those totes in the cod bin, close the doors, so you can get off deck the better. And will you tell Kenny to come upstairs? With heavy weather and few crab landing in his pots. Dang it. I'm not bummed. Just, you know, I just want to, I just want to crush him. Want to crush him. Jake shuts down for the night. So you got first watch tonight. Each crew member takes wheel watch in one hour shifts. First up, deckhand Kenny Jensen. It means you cannot around. I mean, your eyes are on those waves. While the rest of the crew sleeps, Kenny's job is to make sure the boat stays clear of any foreign objects. Hey, Nikki. No. Hey, you got last watch. No problem, bro. Hey, you get us to the gear by 9.30? You got it. Well, the next person wins. We don't find time and gets me there. And I'm all, all good to go. All right, well, I'm going to get some rest. No, no sweat, bro. Cool. Four hours sleeping in the chair proves uncomfortable. So Kenny stretches out on the wheelhouse floor. After sleeping through four shifts, Yo, wake up. Kenny wakes the last man in the rotation, Nick Tokman. I just got up. The rotation on here in Shenny Austin Hot is holy. Holy should have waken me. Should have woken me up. by Kenny. I don't know what's going on. I'm hoping that there's like a logical explanation for this. I got I gotta wake Jake up.
Tell Kenny to come upstairs. You want to explain to me what the f is going on? Um, last night I was doing a watch, and my stomach hurt really bad all of a sudden. And I laid down on the floor right here, and I fell asleep. Dude, you're around with something that's bigger than you. You got. Seven people's lives here, and it ain't that pretty out. If you have a stomach ache, then you get me up, or you get somebody else. I will cover you. That's standard issue. All right, well, my pride kind of got away on that issue. Your pride could have killed us. That's what it could have done. It breaks my heart, dude. Like, you're that selfish, you know? Let's go get geared up. And... I toned it down how I wanted to react to that, you know? I really wanted to just scream. It's not really that big a deal. Boat's fine, crew's fine, power's on. Nobody got hurt. <sighs> Please let it get better. Please let it get better. Two hundred fifty five miles southeast on the one hundred thirteen foot time bandit. I'm a spend the hole. It's been evil, miserable trip, and this weather sucks. We've been working for two and a half hours. <laughs> 